Well, we're at 126 subscribers. 125 this morning. That's why I plan on doing this today. But you know, but we're 126 and 75,000 views. 175. What? Uh huh. Are you awake? <laughs> I'm just trying to look some numbers. I can't oh, see numbers. 126 subscribers and then 75,000 views on YouTube. Oh, okay. okay. Anyway, mm. anyway so uh, uh, I was going through, and then the, you get the people on the bottom that leave little comments. Yeah, they're they're mean. They're absolutely vicious and mean. And anyway, so I was like, well, you know, for since we hit 75,000 views, whatever, I'll just go ahead and talk. Especially this one about the um, the uh, mm -hmm. duck work. All right, there we go. Anyway, so when you're when you're taking the, the round duck and then we're putting it into the fitting, right? We're talking about crimping around so it actually slides in and fits. Right? Well, the, the way that we have it on video, a couple people had a problem. Problem with it. Uh, uh, he used wrong side of crimp around the duck. The two blades should be on the outside or above the duck, and the three blade uh, should be below or inside the duck. And the uh, this other guy's like crimp fail, <laughs> and then um, uh, this other guy's the uh, crimpers being used the wrong way. Oops! Uh, three goes on the inside, and two goes on the outside. Uh, it's easy to crimp the wrong way on this on this gauge of metal. Uh, it's in a uh, three in and two out. The minimum, uh, the connection, a monkey could connect the, the two gauges without grippers. Um, so uh, what those comments, anyway. So I brought in the, the dock that we were putting together. Anyway, so to get this piece of round duck to fit in here to your, it's the same size in diameter. Same size and diameter, right? They put together. Apparently, a monkey can do this job. Bend it in. Hey. And put it in, right? But uh, I'd rather uh, get my pay than monkey pay. I can't really pay the bills with bananas. <laughs> so, anyway, but the, that wasn't the main point of it. The main point of it is, is what, what we're doing with the crimpers is that we're reducing. The area so it slides and it fits in better and what we do is is that we uh, we crimp all the way around reducing that area I mean we don't really need to crimp all the way around all you have to do is just crimp a couple pieces here and here that's already reduced the area enough because you've seen that I actually put it in without crimping it but you kind of like bend it a little bit right there right mm -hmm. so uh, and then the lot of them is, is uh, what do they say, like? Uh, three on the bottom, two on the top. Three on the bottom, two on the top. That's, that's my kind of time. That's a good time right there. So uh, 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 either if you have three in or two in or whatever, it still yeah. crimps the duck work. Sounds like a good time. Sounds like a good time. <laughs> right. Anyway. Three in, two in. Three in, two in. Two on the top, three on the bottom. As long as it fits. It's, it's, it's long. Basically what I'm getting to is, once you can, you can actually crimp it down, stick it in there. I mean, what is, what's, 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 three, what's three on top and uh, two on the bottom? I mean, what, well, I mean, is there a big difference? Uh, I mean, no. I mean, uh, all you're doing here is, <coughs> is when you crimp in, yeah. and then you go to the next crimp, the teeth fall into that crimp right next to it. 
right? And you keep on going, and that tooth falls in that groove in the previous one, right? And you just keep going all the way around. But I mean, sticking it in, sticking it out, I mean, it's still giving the same crimp. So I don't, I don't, I, I, obviously it's the important to them that they actually have to type it out and tell me or tell whoever is watching, you know. So anyway, that was that video. We're going to move on to the next one. And there's um, uh, uh, the, uh, remember the, uh, the duct work short video? How to take duct work apart. Remember that? When I went around every classroom, I took the duct work and just beat the hell out of it. So, I mean, who doesn't like beat the hell out of things? So, uh, the main part of this video was to show you how to take the duct work apart by using, you know, you just drop on the ground and then it pops open, right? Uh, but the uh, main thing about it was is that the classroom is the electric classroom and then they're right across the hall from us. And every year when they're, they got their uh, 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 hammers and they're beating on the two by fours, uh, putting uh, the wire on the studs, making a whole bunch of noise over there. So I get my, pay, my payback is when we have duct work and then I make a whole bunch of noise over here with duct work. So uh, while we're shooting the video, we just thought it was fine for me to go through the classes and just start throwing the duct work around, disrupting their class because they disrupt my class all year. So, um, but with the, what going on with the comment on it, this guy right here is, uh, uh, he says, this is possibly the worst video ever. <laughs> so, uh, thank you, Charles. He doesn't know how to have fun. He doesn't know how to have fun. Um, worst video know, ever? Worst video ever. I, actually, I've seen, uh, you know, <laughs> lot, lot worse than that. But anyway. So, so someone in this uh, to people that <laughs> didn't like the video and then to people about two in, three out. <laughs> Fun throwing things around. Ready? All right. Cut through your sheet metal. Go!